VoiceThread is a Web 2.0 tool that allows you to have a conversation around media. Today we're going to show you how to create your own VoiceThread and use it in the classroom. The first thing you would need to do is go to VoiceThread.com and create a free account. Once you've created your account, you would click on the Create tab at the top. You're going to now upload some photos. These pictures can be drawings, photographs, illustrations, anything that you'd like. I'm going to first upload a title. This title page I created in um, PowerPoint and then saved as a JPEG image. Right now I have my title page. I'm going to go ahead and add a title and description for my voice thread. I'm going to call this Spring is and the description is students describe what spring means to them. I'm going to save that. The next thing that I can do is I can add a comment to any page of my voice thread. So I'm going to click on the comment button and you'll notice my title page opens and right here where it says comment I can click. There are actually five different ways you can add a comment. You can use your phone to make a comment. You can use your webcam to make a comment. You can click here to use a microphone. You can type your comment and have no recorded voice. Or you can upload an audio comment that has already been created. I'm going to click on record and record an introduction. I have to click allow. Our students have illustrated pictures of what spring means to them. They're going to explain to you what this what these pictures are and what they mean to them. I hope you enjoy our book. And I'm going to click stop recording. I'm going to go ahead and click save. I could listen to what I recorded and cancel and re-record if I wanted to, but I went ahead and clicked on save. And I'm ready to upload some more pictures. So I'm going to click on the upload button and then click on my computer. browse to the pictures that I want. And this time I'm going to choose all three student pictures. And here they are. I can reorder the pictures if I wanted to just by clicking and dragging and moving them to a different location. So I can click on the next picture and click comment and again make another comment. I can even add a title and a link. If I decide I want to um, delete a picture I would just click on the trash can down here in the bottom corner. There are a few other options that allow you to work with your voice thread. You can click on the playback options button in the lower corner. It gives you several choices here. I'm going to click Save. I can also embed my voice thread. There are several places here where I can embed them or I have embedding code which I can click on and copy and paste into my wiki or web page. There is also a link here. I may want to just copy and email the link, perhaps email to parents. I could just copy here. I'm going to click Done. There are also some publishing options. You can check to allow anyone to view your voice thread. You can also check or uncheck to allow anyone to comment on your voice thread. If you're concerned about someone making comments that wouldn't be appropriate, you can moderate the comments. This means that 
they can comment, but those comments would not show on the VoiceThread until you have allowed them to be viewed. And I'm going to click Save. And now my VoiceThread is ready to go. I can also share by clicking on the Share um, number 3 button over here. And I can send invitations. And that's all there is to VoiceThread.